A lot of the problems that we see when you're taking opioids, um, it, especially when you're needing to take them on a regular basis, is that we see a respiratory depression when you're taking the opioids. And so whenever you're having that, you, you normally, when you sleep as a normal part of your sleep, your respiratory rate is going to decrease and the depth of your respirations is going to decrease. Well, if you add on to that an opioid depression of that, then we can get into some trouble there. Um, if you add on to that, one of the most common problems that people have, uh, aside from insomnia, is uh, obstructive sleep apnea. So if you have sleep apnea, and you've got an opioid that's decreasing your respiratory rate, and your respiratory rate is normally decreased when you're sleeping, that's where we start getting into some really difficult problems and potentially life-threatening problems. And so it really is important to understand, though, that we can't just not take our sleeping medication or not take our pain medication because then we won't be able to sleep because the pain will keep us awake. We won't be able to rest deeply. So it really is about working with your healthcare provider, be it your physician, your advanced care practice nurse, to be able to titrate that medication so that it manages your pain, but it doesn't depress your respiration so much that it can get you into a risk.